What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, an unexpected update day. Those are the best days, aren't they? iOS 11.1 Beta 4 was just released today, and it's actually a massive update, 2.12 gigabytes. Now this, including the build number, leads me to believe that this is actually the GM in disguise. Apple called it Beta 4, but since this is such a big update, and honestly it seems so polished, it's probably the Gold Master or the final version. Maybe we'll see another one after this, another beta, but this is pretty close to the release of the iPhone 10, so that's why they would release it so soon. Anyways, it actually, uh, I had 46 gigs before updating, after updating, just cleared up 0.13 gigabytes, and uh, let's go ahead and check it out, see what's new. There are actually a few new features, or changes, might I say. All right, so first one I noticed is the way that the rotation works while unlocking your phone. So I'm going to take over my other device here. So when you unlock an iOS 11.0.3 device in landscape, this is what happens. Nothing until you swipe and then it folds over. So that's the usual behavior. Now in 11.1 beta 4, it's been fixed. It automatically corrects without you having to move the display in this latest beta. And the lock screen bypass seems to have been fixed. Check this out. So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat the steps here real quick. Type in three emojis. It doesn't seem so much fixed as slightly patched hang up on the calling phone and Siri open settings. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. And then you click the power button, then I call back and click message and custom and hang up on that phone. So it still happens, you get that interface, you can click on this guy, but the camera button does nothing now. It's still glitched, so Apple hasn't patched completely this issue, but they did sweep it under the rug. And this does happen a lot with their bypasses. They don't completely fix it, they just fix the symptom of it. So that doesn't work anymore, but you can still access the text and send as many as you want using this method. So uh, that kind of is a little bypass on its own, but hasn't been completely fixed, but at least access to the photos has been. And the actual feedback app is gone, which also leads me to believe that this is a GM, as Apple tends to have those in the betas to help fix issues. In general, this thing is so polished, I'm surprised at how great it runs. With the 3D touch lag gone, this thing feels so much better. So I'm pretty sure this is the final version. I'm actually going to update my personal iPhone to this, and I actually wanted to share a few more features from the last beta that I missed in this one. So first off, reachability. Access to the notification center or cover sheets from reachability has been reinstated as that was in earlier versions of iOS 10 and Apple just brought it back to iOS 11. Also, reachability in general inside of an app now shows the home screen in the background. You can make out some faint icons there. On a regular device, let me show you what happens. If you fold it down, you don't see anything but the wallpaper in the background, not the actual icons. So that has been changed. And in the wallet application, when you open it up, it won't automatically blast your display with full brightness until you open up a card with a barcode to scan. So that's a little changed. I think that's an improvement because I hated that getting blasted in the eyeballs when using it at night. And one more on the iPad. So a user from Reddit actually posted this. Inside of Siri, it gives you an option or description of what she can do with Apple Pay and it includes the Apple Pay iMessage uh, section. So that has been added, even though it's not fully activated yet in 11.1, you can still see the references to it in Siri. So uh, Apple is still nowhere to be seen with the Apple Pay messages, as well as iMessage syncing over iCloud. So I'm sure that'll come when they actually release it. They will activate it within the firmware. But there it is, guys. Let me go ahead and run a Geekbench real quick and show you if the numbers have changed, but it feels better. That I can attest to. All right, so here are the scores from beta 4 and from 11.0.3, which I had an anomaly on 8,178, which is a bit unusual, but very consistent scores here. I'm going to go ahead and update my personal device right now. It feels really great. I'm really excited to start using this feature again with the slide over and the new emojis, of course, are cool, even though no one will be able to see them unless they're on the same firmware. Anyways, guys, there it is. Hope you enjoyed it. We should be seeing a full release here very soon. Peace.